Hi, so last session EPS and OBS. Now we know how to create EPS and OBS in Primavera, right? We already studied that in our last session. In projects, we use EPS, but OBS we will not use that much. EPS is used for classifying or dividing projects or arranging projects. OBS is used for creating responsible person for each project. We can create project without EPS and OBS. But if we are creating projects without EPS, what will happen is one common EPS will be there. Under that EPS, all the projects will pile up. For organizing all these projects, we usually create EPS structure. So that's the use of EPS. Everyone who is using Primavera is not using this EPS and OBS. There is no need for that. Okay. Comparing EPS and OBS mostly used is EPS only. Many planners are not using OBS. In the previous session, I explained OBS by creating different responsible persons. In projects, what happens is we use OBS for giving access rights for P6 users. Suppose in a project, we have 10 Primavera license means 10 systems are there installed with Primavera and there are 10 users also 10 planning engineers now all these planning engineers don't need total access to Primavera database each planning engineer need access to their project only so those access rights can be set using OBS settings so we create these 10 users in the OBS structure and in that OBS for each users we set access limit Suppose there are 10 projects, planner 1 will get access to project 1 only. So those access things can be set using OBS. When we join say project, we will get a PC with a single Primera license. In that P6, we need to create the project. That Primera may not be connected to network. That is a single license. So there is no need for creating the OBS structure and all. OBS is needed where there are multiple P6 users and there are multiple P6 licenses and all those P6 are networkly connected. In such projects we use OBS. Actually there are two types of Primavera PPM and EPPM. The one we are using is PPM which we can install in our computer like a software. EPPM is a web browser based Primavera where we will get an address. We will type that address in our browser, any browser, internet browser like a web page the Primavera will load. That's EPPM. In EPPM the admin controls are more than the EPPM. EPPM is used in very big projects. For a schedule making purpose, EPPM is not good. EPPM is good for admin controls than for report making and it's very less used in industry, EPPM. In industry, when you are working in a project, it's not necessary to create EPS and OBS for creating a project. You can create a project without them. EPS we will use for arranging, for classifying the projects. OBS, it's very less used. Mostly it's used for giving this user control rights and that also in big projects where multiple Primavera licenses are there. Okay, so that's all about EPS and OBS. See you in a session.